<laughs> the Gullah Geechee community, I really don't know much about, which is why I'm thrilled that Rance is going to show us all about how these folks are celebrating the history that stretches back to the colonial days. Let's all watch together. What you see, the colored areas, the highlighted areas here, are black owned land today, former slave families on this land at one time. The Gullah Geechee community is, encompasses four states, North Carolina, South Carolina, Georgia, and Florida. That community was born out of slavery. The Gullah Geechee Cultural Heritage Quarter is uh, comprised of descendants who have passed on not only land, but the culture of foods, the culture of healing, knowledge. Uh, there are several Gullah Geechee communities here, uh, and uh, we're trying to identify all of them. Uh, Cosmo is one of our uh, easiest to identify, one of the best that we have had so far for identification of the the Gullah um, communities. A lot of cities were burnt out, and wherever industry went is where most people came. So you'll find in Jacksonville that there is a larger number of Gullah descendants than anywhere in the quarter because this was kind of the most progressive area. The influx of individuals into this area was probably a stopping point for going south because the first Underground Railroad went south. Florida was a free state at one time before it became a slave state. So the, the industrial nature of Florida was always here and Jacksonville was not skipped over. I think our ancestors had in mind that if we lost our beginnings, we would not know from where we came. It's important that we set out to tell this story about our ancestors to our children so that they will be able to get the positives that were left behind and that spiritual nature that our ancestors uh, left behind to kind of make sure that uh, they know who they are, where they came from, and how this all came into being. The, the making of the new world in the United States took everyone to bring us to where we are. And that positive image that we put into our children will make our children realize that, yes, your ancestors had a part in the building of America. It's important because this is where we're from, and this is who we are. And our children, our children, the next generation that's coming, need to know this. The beauty part of this community is that it still exists. You still have a lot of families, as it was mentioned earlier, in this area. So today, it's very easy for them to come together and to look back at the history of Cosmo and their families, the family history. It's just been a part of me, you know. I just feel like this community has been a part of me, and um, I could not leave it. I don't want to leave it, I'll put it that way. Now, there's still 25 families that are, live in the community that are direct descendants from the Gullah Geechee's, the original. Uh, all of those descendants are Reverend Dimps was actually part of, our great-great-grandfather was part of the Kingsley Plantation, so there's a lot of history there. They hope to open a museum there one day, and they've got a camp coming up. If you want to try it, join the camp, it's a riding tour. Make a reservation to call 904-365-1061. All right. Thanks, Rance. We'll be back.